Well, the BBC's low-life football presenter and grade-A toss pot Gary Lineker is back at it again, following on from my video on this prize-winning prat yesterday. A video was sent to me on Instagram of him following the BBC mantra that's aim is to rewrite and destroy British history. He is joined by Joe Brand, the unfunny loser who the BBC loved to promote, and some other spunk trumpet whose name I can't remember. Anyway, like I said, after news of Lineker's new family yesterday promoting criminals and in this country he doubled down and is now attacking fish and chips claiming refugees invented this and on national fish and chip day the snivelling shit weasel like the people of the uk who live on an island surrounded by water never pulled fish from it cooked it and how refugees brought chips over here because one opened a fish and chip shop he claims was the first but others claim was not it is complete lunacy, but let's take a look at it anyway and go over it briefly. It's only a minute long, but trust me, that is enough cringe for us all. Britain wouldn't be Britain without fish and chips, a national institution, a culinary delight. Oi, Gary, have you ever thought about where I actually come from? Well, I suppose not. You've got refugees to thank for me. How come? Well, as it happens, I'm a bit Spanish, a bit Portuguese. 16th century Jewish refugees brought me over. Call that a history. We came over with French refugees. Protestants, I believe. Settled in the East End after we were chased out of France. Well, I never. Funnily enough, it was another refugee who decided to bring me and Fishface together back in the 1860s. It's true. A guy called Joseph Malin opened the nation's first ever fish and chip shop. What a history. Fishtery, Gary. Fishtery. <sighs> Ridiculous. Well, there you go. Uh, what are you doing? Britain wouldn't be Britain uh -uh. without refugees. No, 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 don't. Well, at this point, it's no surprise this arsewipe is doing this. But let's look at some of the claims made in this piss poor attack on our history. It claims that fish is a bit multinational coming from Spain and Jewish refugees, which actually made me chuckle. As I said earlier, I'm pretty sure people on these great islands cooked fish long before the 16th century. You know, because we are surrounded by water. To claim us eating the fish that live in the waters around us came from outside is just lunacy. And it also claims chips are a bit French, but that is not correct either. A type of chip is French, the way our chips are made are different, the sizing is different, and of course the appearance. But let's take a quick look at the Spanish fish and chips in comparison to British fish and chips. Not even close to similar, I think you would agree. Different style, type of batter, completely different dish. It's like saying soup is a fucking curry because they both contain water. Gary Lineker and whatever lowlife Britain hating arsehole who wrote and produced this video are some disingenuous fuck pigs, in my opinion. To claim any nation's dish has come from some refugee is just flat wrong. Like I said, potatoes originated in the Americas and were not brought over by refugees but by merchant sailors as was the way most things were passed between different nations back then. There was not boat wankers floating over the channel or the Atlantic with a big bag of spuds showing the English how to cut it into chips. Potatoes were introduced to Europe from the Americas by merchant sailors who then would have spread them around the whole of Europe by selling them at different ports. They were not refugees, they were businessmen or employees. They were not escaping persecution, they were making money. What they have essentially done here is because things are relatively similar to something that is made somewhere else, they've tried to say that it was made by a refugee to obviously push their agenda and try to destroy British history. We can never allow this to happen, because I am willing to bet no refugee has ever brought anything new to the table of any country since worldwide trade started hundreds of years ago. And I mean multiple hundreds of years ago now, people were sailing around the oceans long before any of this shit they are talking about here. But Gary Lineker, Joe Brand and whatever the name of the other worthless fuck pig is, if you hate this country so much and its history, why don't you fuck off out of it, you won't be missed. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors, slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. And that is why Britain is leaving. 
and it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off.